Hello, I'm Carmen and welcome to the Featherweight Shop. Today I want to show you something that's rather unique and interesting and that is a hand crank on a Singer Featherweight. Now first off I want to be very clear, hand cranks were never originally made for the Featherweight. Many other vintage uh, models of Singers like the 99 you could get with a hand crank option but not on the Featherweight. But we're excited that one is available now and I'd like to show you how it works. Now on almost all vintage sewing machines, the hand wheel turns towards the operator while the machine is in use. A hand crank adapter for a sewing machine is a geared attachment that allows you to turn the handle in a natural clockwise rotation and at the same time it turns the hand wheel counterclockwise, which is the normal operating mechanism of most sewing machines. The hand crank works on a three to one rotation. So one turn of the hand crank is actually three turns of the hand wheel. And you can see this, as I do this again slowly, you'll see that one turn will actually give us three stitches. It will move the needle bar up and down three times. So I'll show you that one more time. There's one, two, three, right as I get back to the bottom. And because of that three to one ratio, you can actually sew at a pretty good pace. Okay, now that we've seen this in action, let's talk about the different components that make up the hand crank for your Singer Featherweight. Uh, this kit was developed by a good friend of ours, Rick Armeo, and it's pretty simple. It includes three pieces, and this piece here is the uh, specially designed piece that allows the hand crank to be attached to your Singer Featherweight. And then the reproduction hand crank itself uh, is pretty simple. It's the geared mechanism that I mentioned and then it has this finger on it and this finger goes in one of the spokes on the spoked hand wheel. And then the last piece is the specially designed hand wheel that works on your Singer Featherweight. Unfortunately, if you already have uh, a hand crank old vintage Singer, uh, the parts are not interchangeable. Uh, this wheel had to be specially designed so that it would fit on the shaft and fit all the way onto, uh, onto the Featherweight. It is fairly straightforward to mount this onto the machine. Uh, you do have to remove the motor and I've just released a video uh, showing how to do that as well. Okay, once you've removed the motor, the next thing you're gonna do is to take off the hand wheel. You do this by removing the stop motion knob and washer and then pulling the hand wheel right off. Now one of the important things to note about putting a hand crank on your featherweight is it does not alter the machine in any way. So you can go back and put everything back on and it'll still be original. So the first thing to do is to put the mount, the mounting bracket on. Uh, it includes a nut and bolt. It mounts right where the motor was on before. You simply put the bolt through and then the nut goes on the back side. And when you first put this on, you don't want to tighten it down tight, uh, just finger tight until we get it uh, in position and properly aligned for the hand wheel. And next we'll put the hand wheel back on. It goes on just like the other one came off, uses the same uh, hand wheel washer, goes on, and the stop motion knob as well. And now we're ready to put on the hand crank itself. It mounts to the bracket with an included bolt, and then once the hand crank is on the machine, but just finger tight on the bolt, you wanna move it around, up and down, until this little finger here is loose in one of the spokes. That gives it room to go around without binding. And once that is uh, like that, nice and loose, then you can go ahead and tighten the two mounting bolts. And once the hand crank is tight, and the finger's nice and loose there in one of the spokes, it's ready to start sewing. Another neat feature of this hand crank is because it has that rubber ring on the hand wheel, you're able to push down the bobbin winder and loosen the stop motion knob and then wind a bobbin just like before. Well, kind of a fun addition to your featherweight. 
I know many of you enjoy the great outdoors and this would give you an opportunity to take your featherweight into some of those remote areas that don't have power and still get a little sewing done. We're pleased to carry these here at the Featherweight Shop and if you have any questions just give us a call, post a question on Facebook, send us an email. We're always glad to help. Have a great day.